Hello everyone, my name is Cap, and welcome back to the channel. We're on day 68 of the Wasteland Warrior series. Yeah, we're still inside the giant manor mansion. Good discussion about that in the comments last time. I'm pretty sure this is actually called something manor. Don't know the name of it. Anyway, spent the night in the bathroom. Absolutely tore it up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see, I didn't search the sink. Uh, yeah, just scrap both of you down here. Alright, so there is two things real quick I wanted to go over. In the last video, I was showing off the crossbow that I got. And I had mentioned, yeah, it's not as good as the one I had equipped. I worded it incorrectly in saying that it's not as good as what we had equipped because it wasn't. I wasn't comparing with the comparable ammo or the mods on it. So I took all the mods off, put the um, same ammo on there. The compound crossbow is better than the iron crossbow I was using. There was quite a few people in the discussion in the comments about there. I worded that wrong and I apologize. So I'm using the compound crossbow now and hopefully we can do some uh, long range sniper with this. It just seems like a pretty beast. Secondly, there was a long discussion, or at least I brought it up in the last video of the discussion about bumping up the difficulty to try and make sure that the challenge of the game remained as is. And the vast majority of people were like, no, nah, that just turn it's the same thing I said. Turning them into bullet sponges is either A, not fun at all. I don't think it's fun watching me have to go through 50 million rounds of ammo just to try and kill the same zombies. I just don't think it's entertaining, and most people agreed. But the comments that I got a lot of that people thought, hey, this is what you should do, is bump up the experience gain. See, right at the moment, if we look at it here, my game stage is at 132. I don't believe demos start showing up until 150, 160, one of those two. So what I did was I bumped up the XP gain. I'm far enough into it now that it's not giving me a huge leg up, but what it'll do is it'll make me level up faster, thus increasing my game stage faster, and making it so that we get to a point in which uh, some of the more crappy zombies start showing up more. Really? We don't have to make grenades? Okay. No big deal. I'm glad we got a book we didn't already have. I'm just happy about that. Ooh, a ranger's guide to archery. Learn how to craft steel arrows and bolts. Well, that could be good because I'm using iron ones now. Nice. <gasps> we, did we complete it? Because we didn't already... Hold on. We, what is this going to do for us here? Because I think we just completed a set here. Uh, ranger's guide to archery. Oh, my God. We actually got one. Bulk craft arrows and bolts. That's freaking awesome. Now, um, I can say that I've been very, very fortunate in this series that I have not had to craft anything like that at all. We have, what, 148 bolts on us right now, and I haven't crafted a single freaking one of them. They have all been just from finding them. And where does this go? Oh, it's a tiny little closet here. Okay, so we didn't get in here last time. We cleared everything out and then just went and hid in the bathroom, you know. We were uh, dumping our guts, I guess, as some people were. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So we are on day 68. We're going to finish clearing this place out. And then we're going to try and start heading back home. So we at least have plenty of time to get things done before the next horde night. Which we still have time. But, you know, better safe than sorry. Uh, I guarantee there's nothing in there. I'm not even going to bother. But there might be something in this box. So let's see. Uh, three books I already have, but it's okay. It's experience game. Yeah. All right. So um, I know there's a lot I didn't um, loot through here, so I'm going to try to remember to check as much of it as I can. And I do know that there's the little hatch, the hidden hatch up in the bathroom downstairs, I think it was. And uh, then there was the vault door, and both of those I'm going to have to beat in. And that's something we'll work on when we get to it, but that's not going to be priority uno. We're going to try and get through. We're just systematically make our way back the way we came and see if there's anything in there good we have. We have some inventory space. Now, if I have to drop off some stuff like rags or iron, brat, you know, this sort of thing, I can totally do that. Also, I need some repair kits, but in order to be able to make repair kits, I need to be able to have some duct tape, and I don't have the stuff to make duct tape. Yes, I could get some bones or murky waters, probably somewhere, but ooh, our food's down. Let's make, yeah, let's get some pie. Heck yeah. And then we're going to turn away some blueberry pie. And a shamage. I'm not going to take the shamage, though. Don't want it. Uh, last time we passed up on all the beer that we kept coming across, and I ran into a bear. So I'm just going to take it all this time, because it seems like that's what the game wants me to have. Nothing in the ice machine. No room in queue. Okay, it's fine. All right, uh, let's see. I did get the purse here, right? Nope, I didn't. Okay, well, let's go ahead and check in here. Ooh, there's actually something in there for a change. <laughs> I'm not going to take the water. I've got enough things to drink. Uh, there's anything behind the projector? No. Oh, also, um, 
Yes, there is a bear out there to start with. I'm going to make sure I don't fall down there. Yes, there's a lot outside that I did not loot. I didn't get through any of the tanks, the choppers, the munitions boxes out here. I didn't do any looting out there. So for the, um, the occasional person that decided to take it upon themselves to be ugly in the comments, telling me that I'm terrible because I didn't search those, relax your butthole. I'm going to get to it. I wanted to get inside first. There, now that we've got that cleared up, we can go back to normal looting. What are all of these? Cupboards, I'm gonna guess typically there's nothing in these cupboards that's of value. Since they're just cupboards, probably go find the same sort of stuff that's in the kitchens, none of which I actually need. Um, nope, I got a full stack of sham, I'm not gonna take any more. Uh, let's see, any, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna bother checking the lockers, it's gonna be closed. Ooh, Art of Mining Volume 6, take 50% less dollars from collapsing the mines. That could be fantastic. I just hope I don't have to deal with those. Uh, I was kind of hoping. It's kind of hoping. I got some agility goggles. Uh, let's see. Where are we on art of mining here? Oh, we need one more on that one. Can craft black strap, a super strong coffee. Sweet. And then 20% shot to one shot any rare. Or, or that could be good. We don't do a lot of mining, but it'd still be good. So you can see we're getting closer to having some full sets here. We need one on most of them and two on some others. That's freaking cool. Slowly, slowly, but surely getting there. So I wanted to say, you know, thank you guys for all the support on this series so far. We're 68 videos into it, and people are still enjoying it. Um, active in the comments, and I very, very much appreciate that. You guys are fantastic. I've said it before. I brag often about it, and it's 100% true that I really do feel like I have the best community on any platform as is. Whether it's in the comments here, on the videos... On Discord, talking with you people on uh, Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or any of the other ones, which, by the way, are all linked in the video description down below if you uh, find yourself wanting to go check those out. And it is just, it's incredibly welcoming to anybody new that wants to join. And I'm, in, I am so very proud of that fact. When new people drop into Discord, I don't have to worry about whether or not they're going to be met with strife or grief or anything. Everybody that comes in there is just like, wow, this is like the nicest Discord I've ever been in. Nobody's, there's no a-holes in here. People are being nice and I guarantee that's paper. <laughs> yep, not even going to bother searching these either. So I just wanted to say thank you for making this such a fantastic community. What are the odds I can, there ain't no dang way I can make that, but maybe. Maybe I can do this. I'm going to guess probably not. Come on, cat. Would you trip over the flowers? Figure it out. Somebody slowly making their way up here. All right, we're going to check behind Fruit and see if he's hiding anything. And he's not. Hey, it's Sylvia. Hey, girl. Did you come all the way up here to see us? Yeah, I'll come down here and meet you. Hello. And welcome. <laughs> That's how we greet our friends. We beat them in the head. Fruit, nothing in there. Wouldn't mind having some duct tape, and I'm sure some people said, Hey, Cat, did you know you can sometimes get duct tape in cupboards? Yeah, sometimes you can. It's not super common, so I'm not super worried about it. You know what I mean? Uh, I'll take one of those, because I can stack it. I'm not going to take those, because I can't stack those. And I can really take any of that. I don't want it. And nothing in any of those. Nothing in the planter box. Desk is already good. Oh, hang on. we got a bag up top. I did not click the right one. There we go. Got it. Water. Man, we have found a lot of jars of water in here. For us to have Lucky Looter Volume, or Level 3. Oh, that's cool. Lucky Looter Volume 3, all the way up. Sorry, Level 3. What? Come on, Cap. Word. Use them. And uh, look, Lucky Looter Goggles on. We really have some of the worst luck when it comes to looting. Like, famous look. Oh, you mother. What the? What? What the? Hang on. We have a ghost in here. What the? What the hell is going on? What just hit me? Hello? Oh, you're a you bastard hiding in the floor? <laughs> I kind of thought it was a crawler, but I kind of expected to see it. Where were you hiding under the carpet? You suck. You suck real bad. Man, what an a-hole. Um, I can't remember. When I was watching the editing last time, I can't remember if I checked that bookshelf or not up there. I'm not sure if I did. Okay, I did. Sounds like we have another idiot in here. Some of them may have respawned. Nightstand with puffer coat and some... What are you? 
Fortitude glasses. Sure, I'll take it. I'm going to leave some glass behind because I don't want it. Nobody out here talking trash? Somebody's scuffling around here. Hello? Oh, dude, we got a flamer dude over here. I have not... Oh, I don't even know if this little spot is right over there. I have not examined the front half of this uh, property either. So before we take off, we definitely will, you know, have a look at it and see what we can find out there. See if we can take out Lois. Where'd she go? Oh, we missed. I think we we're a little high. Can't see her head. There we go. Headshot. Okay, I think we got everything that was in here last time. I know we got all the books. There was the vault door right there. But before we go in there, because that one's going to take a month of Sundays to actually get through. Um, I know I looted all of this area, or at least uh, as far as I know I did. I don't know what those are up there, but I'm not going to worry about them. Oh, hey, what's up? Kyle just randomly decided to spawn back in. Makes me wonder if anybody else did either. Either, two, whatever. No more birds? Okay. All right, so there was a vault, uh, not a vault, or there's a hatch right up here. I don't know what this goes into, but I've had some people in the comments say, hey, by the way, that's a really good spot for some loots. So what we need to do is just get inside here and see what's up here. So let's see if we can wake everybody up in the neighborhood. And we made it. Now, I don't know what's up here. Some body bags. Ooh, I see a, I see some dead, oh, those are landmines. Dang it. Wait, I can walk across those without exploding now. Let's get up here. Make sure there's nothing walking around in here. Dude, we got a hardened chest in here and a weapons bag. Ew, some squishy bits too. I do want to check this real quick because if it's just a plug, then I can easily bust through it. I don't know. Nope, you're concrete. You're just painted to look like plywood. What do you go to? Oh, you're not connected to anything. You don't go to jack squat. Let's check the weapons bag first. If I need to drop off some important crap, I will. Let's see, it's a level 2 compound crossbow versus the level 6. That's definitely not any better. Uh, let me see. See, crossbow bolts. See, I, didn't, I don't have to have any. Iron arrows, I don't really need any of those because I got a full stack plus some on those. I mean, I guess I don't even really want to take you, honestly. I I, I know I can sell you. I'm I'm not doing it. I'm, if y'all want to, you know, jump on me in the comments, go right ahead. Second try. It's not as exciting as first try. Oh, sweet mama. That's stuff and things, man. Okay, so you stack, you stack, you'll, you'll, all of y'all stack. Okay, you're good. Uh, this we can read, 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 read. That'll stack with what we have. This is garbage. Uh, another burning shaft mod would be nice on something. Let's see, trigger group mod. BDU, I mean, those are military leg armor. They're only level two. I'm just going to scrap those and scrap that. So, some stuff. Nothing just, like, really, really fantastic, but stuff here. Burning shaft mod. I don't think I can put that on anything that I currently have here. I mean, I could probably put it on... I have something on there. See, I could probably put it on here. Get it out of my inventory spot. And now we have a flaming pickaxe. Because who doesn't want one of those? Alright, so we need to go get inside the vault. Let me through. Oh, hell. Okay, I think that's the bear, that's the bear that's outside. He's not outside. I mean, he's outside, but there's no door. What kind of... Oh, that's some BS right there. I need to go... Let's see, the vault is on the other side, so what we could do is just say no to that bear and go this way. Yeah, I don't want to deal with a bear that close. I feel confident as long as I can get to a spot where the bear is not going to get to me. Let's see here. All right, so I think I have a hammer. I'm going to put you right here just now. Just to give me, it, it's not going, it's not going to help out much, but it'll help out just a little bit. It's going to take a little while to get through this dang door, and I don't know why there's not a better way around it. But we got to go in. Apparently, this leads to some important crap, so let's just do it. Well, I'll be damned. It only took us a week to get in there, but we finally did it. Now, what do we have here? A long hallway. Okay, make sure everything's reloaded real quick, because I'm trusting this to nothing right at the moment. That didn't take near as long as it did, like, the previous times we did some vault busting open here. I remember if we went to the uh, the Triangle House. Hang on. The triangle House, we had to bust in on that one. That one took a long, long time. Oh, nice. We got some crates here. I want to make sure we're safe before I start busting this open, though. And then, I think it was a very early episode. I don't remember which one. Uh, like, we went inside that uh, drive-in theater. Oh, cool. Drive-in theater, and we got 
inside that little underground area. We dug in through that one room. That was pretty pretty long. That one took forever because we had only a stone axe at the time, and that kind of sucked. Let's see. Let me put you back down here in case I need you. Uh, yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have to get rid of some stuff pretty soon. I'm willing to bet, and that's okay. I don't I don't necessarily care. These are all Shamway foods, so I'm going to guess we're probably not going to find anything in there anyway that's just absolutely of value considering how much crap we have on us already, but we'll at least bust them open. You never know what you might find. Alright, let's see what we got. More beer. So whoever's tucked away in here is having a good time. Some meat stew. That's actually, you know, go ahead and use one. I'll just drag the other one over here in the old... Give me. And I keep it here. Let's see some machete parts I don't need. Technically, I don't need ski goggles. The tough, tough guy glasses are nice to have, but I don't really need them. So if I get to a point where I'm encumbered and I can't carry any more of the good stuff, then I will drop off some of that stuff I don't need. Meat, I've passed up on so much free meat. I have a ton of it at the house is the reason why. So if you're one of the individuals who's wondering why I'm not taking all this free meat... I have more than enough, and I can always get some more. Okay, let's go up gently, see what's... No, gently. Do you go in... Okay, you don't go anywhere. Um, That looks like a... That... Okay, what's going on here? Hang on, let me see what's... What's through this wall here? Hang on, we, we got to see what's on the other side of this wall. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go through this way, if it's some sort of plug that I'm not familiar with. Oh, it's in the other side of the fireplace upstairs. That's cool. That's cool. All right, well, there's another way to get in, I guess, if you want to just beat down. That might actually be better than trying to go in through the vault door. Pro tip, going through the fireplace in the den, and don't worry about the vault door. Oh, that one's locked, too? Man, all right. Let's, let's just get to it. Well, that doesn't sound pleasant. Um, doesn't sound pleasant at all. We uh, we obviously have to go up here because this where you know if there's that much noise up here, then I guarantee there's something up here. There's at least a dog, some regular zombies. I've got plenty of ammo. Life's good. First aid's okay, so I'm not really worried about it. But just in case, what I will do is go ahead and take one of these. Just in case they decide to jump me or for some reason I can't get free. All right, let's peek up here and say hello to our fans. Oh, sweet hell. Okay. You can get shut in the nuts, dude. Hold on, we gotta reload. Here, let me get off me. You losers. Come running up at me. Did I get rid of the stupid dog? That's why I took the painkillers, just in case. Poor pooch. Screw you, dog. Alright, so we got some stuff up here. I'm gonna check around and make sure there's no other surprises. Oh, there's a bunch of cracker book boxes in here. That's fantastic. Could actually, if I had some bones, which I could get from him, some murky water, I'm sure I could probably find. I could actually make some stuff if we needed to be able to make some repair kits, but I think we're okay. All right, well, let's just start busting into the, some of the stuff that we need to see if there's anything in here, because this is fantastic. We're just going to do one at a time. I'm excited. Come on. Oh, nice. It's a book we don't have. Great Heist Volume 1. 10% more damage to safes. Uh, I don't think that counts towards lockpicking, but... Okay, we didn't complete that one, unfortunately. But I'm sure we're only, like, on, we're only one away on that one here. Uh, we already had that one. It was going to give us the celebration chime anyway. Uh, another engine... Come on, something really good. Uh, it's actually really good, but I already have it. I already have that one, too. Yeah, it's not bad. And, oh, look, there's a thing of glue. I think so with, uh, let's see, recipes. We can make some duct tape. Go ahead and craft one of those, and that should allow us to make a repair kit, just one. But it's okay. We can get that crafting. And I'm probably going to do it on my pistol because of all the things I'm using, that's the one I'm using the most of. And I don't want it to break. I mean, we got a shotgun, but this one's really holding us up here. And we this one's the one that needs to make us until we get back home. Cool. Cool, cool. Nice. We got that going. Uh, more ammo. More rags. No big deal. More shotgun ammo. Sweet. This is a pretty good haul so far. Oh. 
Oh, holy hell. <laughs> All right, we're going to repair every damn thing that we own. Yeah. Uh, I'll take you and repair you just so I can sell you. Hang on, let's. Do, we're going to do some mass repairing real quick so you can just hold up one second. That's going to be fantastic. All right, got everything we own repaired. Now I'm just going to make sure everything is reloaded again just in case sometimes it likes to unload crap after you repair it. Sweet. That's a damn good find right there. It's a butt ton of repair kits. <laughs> We were able to repair everything we had and still not have to uh, use any. I'm not taking either one of those. I mean, this pickaxe we're using here is must, much, much beastlier. All right, one more good crack of book in here. Maybe we'll find something good in here. Something we don't already have. We have that and we have that too. It's okay. All right, I think that's it as far as what's in this building. Hold on, I forgot to check these over here, of course. An ear of corn. You know, I should probably take that, but... <laughs> Kind of low on inventory space for just the one. All right, let's just crack in here first. Right, that one's definitely not nearly as exciting. Ooh, a level six junkie. That's a level two steel club. That's definitely not better than that one. Considerably better. We can scrap that, scrap that. Let's see, I'll take you and repair you. No room inventory. Wait, what, what's going on down here? Oh, we're doing that sort of thing. All right, level six junkie compared to this one. Let me see. This one's at a 16. This one's at an 18 without any mods in it. I can't do anything as far as swapping them out without removing some crap at the moment. So uh, we're just going to have to deal with that when we get back home. I'd love to be able to pick you up. Anything in here or in here? Nope. Oh, by the way, um, if you haven't already heard it and you happen to hear it, we have us a bit of a thunderstorm going on around where I'm living here, like literally on the top of my house. Uh, nothing severe, it's just some thunder, lightning, heavy winds, rain, stuff like that. You know, good old just rat relaxing thunderstorm. So if for some reason you hear a rumble, it's not my tum it's not my tummy, just uh it's the house shaking or whatever. So if for some reason it just like randomly cuts off the recording, it's because we lost power to the house or something along those lines. Now I have a battery backup so it won't just kill it, fortunately. But that doesn't mean that I won't uh have to pause and come back to it or anything. Anyway, just throwing that out there. We're a long ways into it by this point. I'm sure nobody's even noticed. All right. I have to go with the assumption that I'm done. There's probably a small little thing here and there. Maybe a painting that's hiding something. But I'm completely full. I'm completely topped off. I need to get back to the gyro over there. Drop off as much as I can. And then we need to hit up all those tanks. And we even have trash laying on the ground. Oh, look. There's some bones. Can get some murky water. Make some glue in the campfire. Make some duct tape. Make some repair kits. But then we went and found a mother load of all repair kit stashes. I'm hoping that dang um, dog or bear doesn't come over here. All right. So we parked our gyro right over there. Let's see if I can't... Uh, Make sure there's not any bears roaming around here. I don't think I have a lot of space in the inventory of my jar either, so I may have to start making some sacrifices. Got a nice little camp right over there. We're not going to hit that up. It's, just, it's not going to happen. All right, let's see how much crap we can put in here that will match up here. Hey, we got rid of a couple things. Nice. All right, so some of this stuff, like you guys, I'm just going to put into here just to get rid of you. Okay, I need to find... Not you. I need to find a good high ground that I can get to quickly if Yogi decides to come find me. And also, I need to get to all those munitions boxes. Uh -huh, I see you, you little bastard. <laughs> Eat it! An entire satchel of riches. Maybe the bear's in the house and he's slowly trying to figure out how to get to the other side. And Well, that's just tough tatas for him. Right, so it looks like we have a couple things in here. Is there an easier way to get inside than this one busted out? Maybe I can just do this. Yep, I can just do that. Sweet. This would be a horrible spot to get trapped in with a bear. Uh, Splint, you know what? I'm going to hang on to that. Bad things have happened, and I'll, I'll leave those behind. You know, some of this, I'm going to leave those behind. I, I swear I probably shouldn't. I'll regret doing this, but eventually, I'm not worried about it. Uh, oh, I was going to go ahead and just take these. I did find these earlier. Keep the disease up just in case I get bit by something. All right, onwards and upwards. That is so cool. I, I really do like that. That is... Uh, I want to get a better angle of this. May I just make this the thumbnail? Yep, that looks pretty sweet. All right, where is the bear? See... Let me see who's that. We didn't check the gazebo either, but I'm going to guess there's probably nothing up there. That's where all the snakes were at last time. There's never anything... Uh-oh. What's up? Somebody coming at me? 
Head on the swivel. All right. Now, I don't know. Now, people are telling me, hey, by the way, you need to make sure you check the hatches and stuff on the tanks. Like this, because I want to make sure I get inside those. Anybody in here? Oh, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder if he can get in here. Weighted head mods and knives. We'll just take all of that. Hang on. I gotta go deal with the idiot that's upstairs. Look at me, bud. I did not give you permission to talk to me. You have a crappy junkie, a laser sight. I don't really need that. I mean, it helps. It gives you a little bit. Of, I'll take those. You, I could probably scrap down. Wait, hang on. You're a level 3. I have a level 6. I think I put it in there. It's the reason why I'm not worried about it. And you go probably underground. Yep. Okay, I'm going to put you here so I don't accidentally fall back in. Nice. Now, okay, there was a discussion too, and I'll go ahead and address this now. About using a land claim block so that I could pick up these turrets. Because all the tanks have one on top of them. Here's why I'm not going to do that. Yes, it would be nice to have free turrets and any of the other trap that's over here. But, if I put a land claim block down right here, it will deactivate the one that's over at my house and my base. I have full confidence in this series that I'm far enough away from my base, a little over four kilometers, that that whole chunk is unloaded from memory. And the moment I start flying back, it's going to re, um, relaunch everything. It's going to reload the chunk, and all the zombies that's in my house are going to appear back in there. All the zombies in my base are going to appear back in there. And while I do feel confident that I could probably handle it at this level, I don't want to force it if I don't have to, you know what I mean? I don't want to uh, have to run in there. Oh, dang it. Because, like, the blade traps, those would be fantastic to pick up. But again... Wait, what? Oh, you're just for aesthetics. Okay, let me go down in here. But, so, yeah, I'm not going to be doing that. It would be great to have, but I'm not going to um, risk having to fight everything when I get back home. Because I don't know what time I'll get back home. I'm going to try and loot this, and then I'm going to try and get back out of here as quickly as possible. Dang it, why can't I hit this dude? Bruce, what's up, dude? I hear a doggy. What's up, dog? Where are you is? Where's your bear friend? Is he in the house? Because I need to get on the other side of the... Oh, it looks like he tore down some stuff over there. Oh, yeah, man, we need to speed up a little bit. Oh, I didn't make it. I thought I was going to I thought I was gonna be able to make that, and I didn't. I need to speed up a little bit here because we, we still have plenty of time, but I don't want to be coming in hot, you know. It's going to take a little bit to fly home, more or less what I'm trying to say. Ammo, sh You don't have anything on you, do you? No. Stupid. Up the ladder. There we go. We didn't check the two tanks over here. Uh, let's see. I'll go this one first. No, nope, don't need coffee beans. Don't need nothing. Empty, huh? Kind of disappointing. Nothing in there. Go down the hatch. Come on. Down we go. Man, these are fantastic finds right here. Getting all this loot and stuff. These munitions boxes. Another burning shaft mod. More ammo. Oh, we missed. I swear sometimes the ladders just aren't working with me here. Alright, where are you? Are you a crawler dude? No, that's Bam. All right, where's the bear before I jump down? Oh, we gotta go get this helicopter first. I have a. Uh, this one looks different than the other one. That looks freaking. That looks so freaking cool, man. I may have to make that one the screenshot. That one just looks good. Yeah, baby. All right, let's. We can get in this one without having to bust anything open. So that's good. Nothing in here. I guarantee it's nothing useful. Gothic boots. Eh. Gunpowder and shale. Not a horrible thing to find. And that's all in this one. This one wasn't nearly as stocked as that other helicopter was. or None of the tanks for sure. Got two more tanks. Got some munition boxes over there. And then we need to hit the skies. Let me up. Let me up. This is a good time for a bear to show up. So when I'm str uh, struggling to even get back on top of this idiot. Nope. I'll take a new... Oh, there's one piece of duct tape. I'll take you just in case I need to make a repair kit. You know, because it's not like I don't have 30 of them on me or something. Uh, no, I'm not taking you. I'm not taking you. No dusters. There's the good box. 
ammo and abandoned armored plating mod. Nice. I'll probably be able to repair or replace something I have with that one. Uh, regular bandages I don't need. Wait, did I see a... L oh, it's just the other hatch coming up. Let, let me up. Let me up. Okay, fine. I'll go around to the other one. All right, one more tank. Ah. Nope. Definitely nope. Uh, I wonder if I can... Hang on. I wonder if I can just stick my head right there. and There we go. I don't have to cl climb down there at all. Those probably suck. I'll take those. Okay. Do we have a bear? And I'm willing to bet if he came through there and went through all that effort to try and get inside the house, then he also knocked down several of the... Several of those, so I don't have to worry about him. He's going to show up and bite me in the butt while I'm doing this. I need to make sure I have an exit route. Okay, several of these are good. Let's try not to get eaten, shall we? Nice. Sweet. Cannot complain about that. Let's see if Mr. Bear figured out how to get inside here. Uh, let's see. The fireplace, I think, is right on that side of the room where we originally were busting through that one room. Um, the secret room. Okay. I feel confident in calling this place complete. Am I right? I have no idea. Is there other things in there? Probably that I'm missing, but you never know. Um, I think I've done well enough with getting crap here that if I did miss something at this point, it's okay. And somehow or another, I knew I was going to miss that jump. Oh, if this car is closer. It's the reason why I made it last time. <laughs> ah. Let's see if we can get our f freaking heavy butt off the ground. In our gyro over here, we can fly back home. Should, uh, maybe. We're going to be put, cutting it kind of close on uh, whether or not we're going to have time to go to the trader before he closes. Take to the skies. Yeah. Turn. Oh, don't hit a tree. You hit a tree. It's okay. Nose down just a little bit. Peek around. Make sure. Oh, we got a bird right in our propeller. Screw you, bird. You can eat a bag, too. Got another crashed airplane over there. I was just trying to look around see if there's not like a trader or anything here. I'm not seeing one, but that doesn't mean there's one not nearby. All right then. Well, um, we got to go home, and that's pretty much it. So let's just get home real quick and see if we can get there before uh, he closes, which may or may not happen. We got a little bit of a drive. Just in time. Make sure nothing falls me over here. Now we need to be real quiet so we don't attract an entire horde. Nope, we're not going to get to the trader, obviously, before it closes. Make sure nothing accidentally spawned in over here. It shouldn't have, but you never know. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to sort through the inventory stuff tonight, figure out what I have that I want to try and sell, what I scrap down, what I, you know, just whatever, basically. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are still enjoying the series. You know, if you did... Do me a favor and leave a like on the video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And uh, hit the little bell icon so you can get notified when new videos go live. In the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later.